Hey everybody, H.P. Gibson here over at 494 Broad Street, also known as Barcade in Newark, New Jersey. Today we're going to be talking about the bug blasting, the flea stomping, the spider killing, track ball control monster known as Centipede, right here on the X-Zone, Retro Gaming with H.P. Gibson starting now. Insert toy. Created by Ed Logg and Donna Bailey, Centipede was a monster arcade hit in the golden era of video games. Bailey was one of the few female game programmers in the industry at that time. Logg stated that the game was designed to attract female players. He believed that Centipede was not biased by gender, unlike the fighting games and the sports games around about that time. Donna Bailey said that she really liked pastels and she wanted the game to look different, to be visually arresting. Well, they succeeded in that because Centipede goes down in history as probably the one arcade game to have a very significant female player base. The player controls a humanoid-like head with a control called a trackball and fires shots from it using the fire button. Two players can play alternately. The object of the game is to destroy a single centipede by shooting all of its individual parts as it marches its way zigzagging down the screen towards the player. Each time you shoot a part of the centipede, it turns into a mushroom, giving the player the challenge of, the more you kill, the more difficult it is to maneuver or hit targets. The mushrooms, however, can be shot away, but herein lies the problem, because centipedes are not the only creature that leave mushrooms. As the player tries to shoot away mushrooms to make more room to maneuver, the fast dropping flea leaves even more mushrooms on the screen as it drops down to attack the player. Now one of the most annoying and most frequent nuisances in Centipede is the spider. It comes out at random, bouncing around on the lower part of the screen in the player's playing area. The closer you shoot the spider, the more points you get. Another dastardly enemy in Centipede is the Scorpion. Now, the Scorpion doesn't attack the player like the Centipede, the Flea, and the Spider, but what it does do is that it travels from one side of the screen to the other, poisoning the mushrooms in its path. The color of the mushrooms then change to a different color than the other mushrooms on the screen. And when the approaching centipede touches it, it goes wild, moving in a very fast, erratic downward motion towards the player. After the overwhelming success of Centipede, of course, Atari released a sequel in 1982 called Millipede, which featured a lot more enemies and even greater challenges. And I will be reviewing Millipede in a future episode of Retro Gaming with H.B. Gibson. Now speaking of Centipede and Millipede and all the wonderful video games out there that were controlled by trackballs, I fondly remember the early days when I was a kid when I would go into the arcade and just found that those video games that used a trackball as a controller was just so much fun. Back in the day when the graphics were not as sophisticated as they are now, there was a video game called Atari Football, I don't know if anybody remembers, maybe the old cats might remember. It was a two player game, each player on each side of this cocktail table type game, some of them were stand up, some of them were sit down. Each player took control of either an X or an O, you ran the ball, you passed the ball, it was a fun football game. There was another trackball control football game called Gridiron Fight, I don't know if anybody remembers that. And of course there was some other great trackball control games like Marble Madness and who could ever forget the Atari classic Missile Command. In future episodes of Retro Gaming with H.B. Gibson, I will be talking about those trackball control video games because they were just so much fun and I have so many great memories playing them. Centipede was released on countless consoles and ports throughout the years and is still a beloved video game by arcade enthusiasts today. 
All right, so what do you think? Did you like Centipede? Did you not like Centipede? When was the first time you ever played Centipede? Did you play it in the arcade? Did you play it online for the first time? Did you play it on Atari? Talk about it in the comments below. I'm H.P. Gibson. Thank you for joining me for another X-Zone Retro Gaming with H.P. Gibson. Remember, life does not have a reset button, so make the most of it right now. Spread love, spread positivity, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.